Today, I'm gonna show you how to sex aquarium mollyfish and tell the difference between male and female. I'm doing this because I'm moving around a lot of fish here upstairs and I'm setting up new mollyfish aquariums designed to breed aquarium mollyfish effectively. So this can really help you breed more fish and kind of just figure out aggression issues. It's kind of a big deal figuring out which mollyfish is male versus female. So let's get into it. So how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna give you a quick glimpse of what mollyfish look like, and then we're gonna go over to my whiteboard, and I'm gonna draw a small little diagram showing you exactly what to look for in sexing aquarium mollyfish and telling the difference between male and female. Hey, what are you doing? By the way, this is my new kitty. His name is Whiskey. He's nine months old. He's a huge male. Um, he's the new uh, house mascot, but guys, these are the molly fish here in the entertainment center. If you hear a bell, it's whiskey over there, by the way. So I'm gonna try to sneak up on these molly fish and kind of just show you what you need to look for when trying to sex these things. So the main distinguishing factor, what you wanna look for, I'm trying to move very slow because these guys, as you can see, they get startled very easily. The main factor in distinguishing between molly fish female and male is the anal fin. That's what a lot of people use when it comes to live bears. And the anal fin is on the bottom. As you can see there, that little thing right there, if it has like a fan tail shape to it, it is a female. And if it has kind of like a string like, like that guy right there is a male. See that? Well, actually, let's go over to the drawing board and I'll show you exactly what we want to look for. And then we'll come back here and sex each of these molly fish. So I'm going to attempt to draw two molly fish, a male and a female. And I'm going to try to draw the distinguishing factors that differentiate these two as best as I can. Please don't judge me. The main distinguishing factor with these two sexes is the anal fin. See how the male here on the bottom, the anal fin is a lot pointier. It is also said that the top dorsal fin on males has a lot more finish to it and it's gonna be more beautiful. But the main distinguishing factor with live bears, guys, is these anal fins. See that huge distinguishing factor? Um, and here, I'll just make this a little more beautiful. It is, you'll, you'll be able to tell when looking at the fish, guys, this is the main core distinguishing factor is the anal fin. Okay, so now that we have distinguished the difference on the diagram, we're gonna take a closer look at these molly fish. Hopefully whiskey doesn't bother us too much. Hey, hey, are you gonna let us do this? Please, try to be quiet for once. Okay, so I'm gonna try to sneak up on these molly fish and try not to scare them. I have my stabilizer and hopefully we can kind of zoom in and see if we can sex these guys. So the two main characteristics that we talked about before was the anal fin and the dorsal fin. So and the main go-to way to sex live bears. Hey, hey, what are you doing over there? You're gonna be quiet, remember? Shh. But the main reason the main way that you can sex live bears is the anal fin. It's the easiest way, and that's how I advise you do it. So let's sneak in here. And let's look at these anal fins. So that anal fin, see the bottom there, has a fan to it. So that is a female. See if I can get my finger there. See that bottom anal fin? That is a female. And let's see if we can get on the next guy. Can you, can you please turn to the side? See, see that one right there, the fan right there at the bottom? Right there, that's the fan. That, that, and then the next sign you can use is the dorsal fin. The females have smaller dorsal fins. See, this is a male right here in front of us. A beautiful black velvet male molly. Hey, get out of here. Go, go. Sorry guys, he's he can be super annoying. <laughs> All right, so if this male can just turn for us, please. P pretty, pretty, please turn for us. All right, there he goes. See that anal fin? It's pokey and it sticks out like that. It's almost like, um, it's just a different, It's see that, that's a perfect view. And that top dorsal fin has a lot more fan to it. And a lot of times they'll get super large, but the go-to metric to use is that bottom anal fin. And you can tell them side by side right there. See that, that's a beautiful, ooh, see how aggressive he is too? 
That's that male showing his aggression. So let's see if we can find some more. Here's a little Dalmatian, Molly. See if we can zoom in. He's quick, he's quick. We gotta be, we gotta be smooth. He's got, oh, that's a she, I can tell. See the little bottom dorsal fin? Or the anal fin, I mean? Has kind of a fan to it. See that? Yep, that is definitely a female. So now we effectively know how to sex molly fish. It's super easy. The go-to metric to use is that anal fin. Um, it is also said that males are a lot brighter in coloration. Hey, stop scaring those fish, buddy. Quit bullying them. Quit bullying them. <laughs> He's just so cute. Um, but yeah, so let me know in the comment section if you're having issues sexing your molly fish and figuring out male versus female. What are your plans as far as what you're going to do? Are you trying to set up a breeding tank? If you're trying to breed mollies effectively, what I would advise, uh, the go-to formula for breeding live bears is to go with multiple females, also known as like a trio. Gosh, quit scaring those guys. Go with a trio. Go with two or three females in one male because the more males you have in the tank, obviously uh, there's just going to be more aggression. They're going to fight over mating. They're going to just try to show their aggression, who's more aggressive. It, it's like that in the whole entire animal kingdom. So if you're trying to breed these guys, what is he? Oh, he's another male. So I have a couple males in here. So it's probably if I were to set this up smarter, I would have one male in here and the rest females because they will effectively breed a lot better. And it just, it's a smoother breeding tank essentially. So guys, hit me up in the comment section. Um, let me know your comments, having to deal with sexing female and male mollies. Um, I, I love hearing from you guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like for trying to help you guys.